Halloween is really a special time, isn't it? Especially for me. You can see why if you know who I am. Look up a little. <laughs> That's me, a jack-o'-lantern. At Halloween time every year, I sit up here and watch everybody go by. It's a nice and scary time, isn't it? All those wonderful costumes and masks and makeup. I think about how much fun Halloween is. I also worry a little bit about the things that can spoil the fun of Halloween. Those kinds of things scare me too, but in a different way. For instance, look next door. That's where Corey lives. Corey, have you got that pumpkin ready yet? Yes, Dad. Corey's going to carve a pumpkin with her dad. Fifty pounds. That's a big one. It probably weighs close to that. Probably. Come on here and set it down. Okay. Let me get the paper straightened out. How's that? That's fine. Have you decided what kind of face you're going to make on it yet? A happy face. Oh, yeah. Now, a pumpkin's not easy to carve. I know that. You need the proper tools. But Those first, you have to draw a face that you can carve. Corey's doing that. A nice pumpkin face. Thank you. Well, let's see if we can cut the top off now. Then you cut the top off so you can scoop out the insides. It takes a sharp knife. And you know sharp knives can be dangerous if they're not used right. I'm glad that Corey's father is helping her. It's much safer that way. Eager to get inside? Yeah. Go ahead and pull that off. Ew, look. You ever seen the inside of a pumpkin before? Yeah. Not that way. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's start cleaning it out. <laughs> Getting my inside scooped out tickles me. <laughs> It'd tickle you too, if, if you were a pumpkin. So far it's been fun. But look at Corey's hand. <laughs> Kinda gooey, isn't it? Corey is going to carve the face with a small knife. Can you imagine how that knife could slip and maybe cut her? I hope Corey will do the safe thing. <laughs> Good, that's a lot better. A clean, dry hand can hold a knife safely and cut with it safely, too. Cut slowly, carefully, in small slices, and always cut away from yourself. Make sure there's an adult, or someone a lot older than you, who can help you if you need help. That's the safe way to carve a pumpkin. I'm glad Corey isn't going to spoil her Halloween fun. Carve carefully. That's one way to have a Halloween that's fun and safe. But what about having a candle burning inside your pumpkin? Well, I'm sitting on brick. But a candle and a pumpkin on a wooden porch might not be safe at all. A flashlight could be a lot safer then. But it's best to stay away from lighted candles that are inside or outside of jack-o'-lanterns. You know why. Well, not everybody carves a pumpkin on Halloween, but just about everybody does dress up in a costume. For instance, look across the street there. Do you see what I see? That robot is Jeremy in his costume. Well, it may look great from the outside, but from the inside, things don't look very good at all. Jeremy can't see very well with his robot head on, and I don't think the rest of his costume lets him walk very well. He can't bend his knees. How are you going to walk through that thing? I don't know. It's hard for Jeremy to keep his balance. If Jeremy went out like that, he might keep losing his balance all the time. He might fall down just anywhere, and probably everywhere. Sidewalks hurt you when you fall on them, and so do streets. And streets are especially dangerous to fall down on. Jeremy has to be able to walk better if he doesn't want to spoil his Halloween fun. There, that's better. A costume shouldn't make you trip or fall. That's not safe. It should be easy for you to move in your costume. And you have to be able to see where you're going. Look, Jessica. A mask that makes it hard to see could get you into all kinds of trouble. There, that's much better. Jeremy can see well now and move safely in his costume, too. 
Oh, but look at Jessica. She can't see much with her mask on. It's too big for me. A monster needs an ugly face. But does it have to be a mask? Makeup can be just as good. And it's always just the right size for you. Just don't get it in your eyes. Okay. Another one? If you're not too good at putting on makeup, get an adult to help you. Make sure your mask and costume let you see well and walk well and they won't spoil your fun on Halloween. Of course, the reason you get all dressed up at Halloween is so you can have fun going trick-or-treating. And I like to see all the children out in their costumes. But when I see them, I always hope they don't forget all they know about crossing streets safely. And I hope you don't either. That's especially important when drivers can't see you well. And for you to see the cars well, it's a good idea to take off your mask when you cross. Even though it may not be night yet, it's dark enough to make things outdoors hard to see, you and the cars. It makes me so happy when I see children look to their left for cars, then right for cars, then left again before they cross. You mustn't forget all the safety rules you know on Halloween, and especially because it's dark. It's safest not to cross between parked cars. That can be very dangerous. And don't cut across yards or empty lots. When it's dark, you can't see what's there. Remembering safety rules is very important on Halloween. There's something else that can help keep you safe outside when it's dark. You'll see right away. Yes, just as I thought. They're coming up my walk now. The people who live in my house like to take pictures of the children who come by. Okay, we're going to take a picture for a treat, too. Everybody smile. Now you'll see what there is about their costumes that makes it easier for drivers to see them when it's dark. Do you see how easy it is to see the bright colors in the costumes? Bright colors are easier to see at night than dark colors are. But there's something else. Some parts seem to glow from the camera flash. That's how those parts will look when car headlights shine on them. Those are just pieces of special tape that reflect light very well. You can put tape like that on your costume and on your trick-or-treat bag. Some costumes already have reflecting material on them. Making your costume and your bag easy to see makes you easy to see. And that's a good way to help make Halloween safe. The safer Halloween is, the more fun it is for you and for me. That's what I think. But some people have a strange idea of fun. They think it's fun to mess up other people's things with paint. They don't think about how the people feel whose things are ruined. And some people think it's fun to throw things at cars and houses and buildings. But the people whose things they're messing up don't. I don't either. It isn't fun to spoil other people's things and make them unhappy. Some people even think it's fun to smash pumpkins. Oh no, that's not fun. Not for all the people who work so hard carving pumpkins, and especially not for us pumpkins. Whew, wow, that was close. Some people don't know what fun really is. I do, and I'll bet you do too. And I know they do. Trick-or-treating is always fun. But there are some things you should remember to help keep it fun. One thing is to always go out with friends. And have an adult come along, too. Don't ever trick-or-treat alone. And if someone you don't know very well invites you in... Would you like to come in? I have more treats inside. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's right. Say, no thanks. And don't eat the treats while you're collecting them. Stay in your own neighborhood. Don't get too far from home. Don't worry. You'll collect enough treats. People are expecting you. And even if you don't stop at houses with no outside lights on, which you shouldn't, you'll have a wonderful time at Halloween.
Some of you will probably still be out when it's really dark. That's when flashlights are an especially good idea. To help you watch out for places you might fall or stumble over if you didn't see them. But remember, don't shine those flashlights into anybody's eyes, especially a driver's eyes. That could be dangerous. It isn't hard to have a safe Halloween. Just look how easy it is to see those children when they cross. They wouldn't want an accident to spoil their Halloween fun. I wouldn't want that to happen either. Trick-or-treating is almost over this Halloween for Corey and Jessica and Jeremy. It's almost time for them to head for home. But what do you do with all the treats you've collected? A lot of them are things to eat, of course. But you don't eat them all, at least not right away, that's for sure. And there might be some you won't want to eat at all. Get a grown-up to help you decide, or at least someone a lot older than you. You see, some people think it's fun to play tricks with your treats. Watch out for candy wrappers that have been torn or punctured. That might be a sign of tampering. There might be things in the candy, so break open candy bars before you eat them. Cut fruit into pieces before you eat it, just in case something's been stuck in it. Watch out for things that look like candy, but might be medicines or drugs or even poisons. Don't eat anything that doesn't look right. If it looks funny, it might not be so funny if you ate it. Treats are so much fun to collect, it'd be awful to have them spoil your Halloween fun by making you sick. Corey's treats won't make her sick, and I hope yours won't make you sick either. I hope you can have the most fun you've ever had this Halloween. Halloween can be a scary time, not because of witches or ghosts that we know aren't real, but because of real things that can spoil our fun. Just remember these few important things I've told you about. Carve your pumpkin carefully. Make sure that you can see. And make sure people can see you. Remember all your safety rules and take off your mask when you cross a street. Trick or treat in your own neighborhood, and don't keep any treats that don't look right. If you can do all that, then you won't have to worry about scary, real things happening on Halloween, right? Right. Have fun and is safe.